minor flaw of the old Flashforge finder is the fact that they have these little little prince balls which are quite narrow and obviously you can buy these prince balls replacement ones from Flash, Flashforge but often it's quite cheap to get stuff off Amazon like uh, BQ or a good make that I use quite often and their prince balls are a lot wider so what I've done here is I've, I've, I've printed this spool holder which I've crudely screwed into the wall now Paolo um, from a, uh, a group called Creative Tools uh, very kindly sent me through a design which I will be showing you very shortly um, and it's going to solve my problem and get rid of this very rudimentary setup that I've got here. Now you'll notice actually I've got a hideous mark on the side of my flash forge and that's because um, I, I took the advice of somebody and tried to glue something on the side and ended up damaging it because I didn't use the right type of glue. Silly me. Anyway, so this should solve my problem. and I've laid the other two parts next to it. What absolutely cracking design. There you go, by finder.creativetools.se um, who kindly provided me with this to solve a problem. So let's get it fitted and see if it works. And there it is, all made. It's got their logo on the side, finder.creativetools.se, the people that provided this to me. It all snapped together really, really well. It's very nicely printed and even the screw at the end screwed perfectly and tightly into the end there to, to make a, a perfect form. Right, let's, uh, let's snip the filament and fit this onto my flash forge finder. And you'll see it just clips straight onto the back. This little bit goes into the hole at the back of the device and this clips over this little uh, uh, release bit like that and that is firmly attached now the printer has also been cleverly designed to take one of these fairly standard uh, pieces here which is a filament cleaner which you just put a, a piece of sponge inside of and that will fit up inside here and clean any dust off the filament as it goes into the printer. Now you have to be careful not to pack in the sponge too tightly as I've actually done here because what you end up doing is actually have the sponge deteriorate and even disintegrate slightly and go into the print so you can actually cause yourself more problems. Um, so I'm going to replace this sponge and not pack it in quite so tightly this time but you can see it's doing its job because there's a lot of grime on the sponge so clearly it does work. So I've cut the filament end into a point and I've pushed it through a nice fresh piece of sponge now and that's going to come through. Now the important thing to remember is before you load this into your flash forge is to trim the end so it's nice and flat. Now what you can do is obviously do an unload and pull this back out but really there's no point. Just go through a load sequence, wait for that to just squidge through the other end and then just feed in the fresh bit. That seems to be a lot less kind of destructive feeling against the old flash forge finder um, not to say that it can't cope with it I'm sure it can but actually you only you know you're not saving anything I've just cut it off anyway so just let it squidge through to the other side catch it chuck it in the bin easy you can see a loading now the uh, piece is going through oh and I've let go of it not very clever I'm just going to push that behind it Simple as that, I'm not going to push it too hard, but there you go, I can feel the, the end of it. So I just keep a little bit of pressure on there, not too much, until I feel it grip. Yes, it's gripping. So if I if I measure with my finger and just hold my finger here, when my finger gets down to the bottom, I'll know that it's gone all the way through and you're not going to get any air gap. So there we go. I think that's good definitely all the way through so I'll click click done and there you go it stops so now I push this onto here and you'll see up here we're all good perfect I'm very happy with that 
and there it is, the completed spool holder attached to my Flashforge finder. Thanks again to Paolo from creativetools.se for providing me with the design, and I had no idea it existed, and it's available now on uh, Thingiverse. I will put the link in the description, and I can finally get rid of this hideous thing I've got nailed to the wall. Anyway, there you have it.